In today's news, 22,656,481 dollar XRP. Once again, we are witnessing another colossal XRP price glitch and it seems that these glitches are getting higher and higher in value as time goes on as we are edging ever closer to the drastic switch from the old monetary system to the new one. And the reason this is such big news is because XRP is the only cryptocurrency that experiences these glitches. And they are becoming far too frequent, more so now than ever before, to be a mere coincidence. Potentially, the exchanges are preparing for mass adoption of XRP and greenlighting this shift. Or potentially, this is a sign of how high XRP could reach in the future once Ripple is fully integrated into the back end of the new financial system worldwide and XRP reaches its full potential with its use cases. And in my personal opinion, not financial advice, of course, always do your own research. But I believe the BRICS nations, the growing BRICS alliance are playing a critical role in the future adoption and price of xrp another potential cause and effect to these reoccurring price glitches with saudi arabia firstly strengthening its bonds with the BRICS plus nations against the g7 warning them against russia's seizures with debt sell threats according to bloomberg here saudi arabia privately hinted earlier this year it may sell some european debt holdings if the g7 decide to seize almost 300 billion dollars worth of russia's frozen assets now the g7 claim that this was in support of ukraine but the saudis stand strong on their threat so seemingly very quickly now the power is shifting away from the western world as the influence and power of the BRICS alliance continues to grow more and more as in continuation china and kazakhstan sign a contract for the two central banks to cooperate on digital currencies and kazakhstan is also amongst the list to join the alliance before the end of this year most likely which is very very big news and speaking of which speaking of china in some breaking news china is set to launch their first platinum palladium futures contract the gfex exchange fills a gap in the chinese market providing the mechanism to discover the domestic price of platinum and palladium in china and help business is hedge price risk which is huge huge news so we've established some of the rapid growing developments occurring with the BRICS right now and as you should already know they are in the process of building a new payment system without the dollar without swift and one that will use ripple and xrp in his interview here with Jim Rickards, he mentions something very, very important. Notice what the BRICS are doing right now. They copied the World Bank and the IMF. They are duplicating the Bretton Woods structure and they are also building underseas fiber optic telecom channels so they can bypass channels like SWIFT and other that are controlled by the West. Take a listen. Again, notice what the BRICS are doing. They've copied the World Bank, they've copied the IMF. They're duplicating the Bretton Woods structure on their own. A lot of this, a lot of this goes very almost unnoticed, but these are very, uh, very important initiatives. They're also building a fiber optic uh, undersea telecommunications channel so they can bypass channels like SWIFT and other payments channels controlled by the West. So they're building their whole network financially, structurally, uh, and in terms of physical, uh, physical infrastructure. Uh, and it's been going on for a long time. It's not as if the BRICS are making some headlines lately. It's not as if they just woke up last year and said, oh, let's do something significant in the monetary system. They've been working on this for, uh, for over 15 years. Um, by the way, we focus on the BRICS Leaders Summit, and that's important. They have over 100 meetings per year. They have subgroups on uh, agriculture, climate change, women's rights, athletics, etc. So this is a very well-developed uh, organization with a, um, uh, as I say, an expert secretariat uh, that will uh, that continues to grow. This is huge news. In a sense, they are already a step ahead of the IMF and the World Bank and the rest. As Mr. Man XRP showcases in this post here, in this interview, in this video, the IMF, World Bank, and the OECD suggest that a new Bretton Woods is needed for digital finance, DeFi, crypto assets, and CBDCs, which is huge news. Take a listen. But the point, and uh, this is uh, the, 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 the important, is that uh, so given the level of uh, payments, cross-border payments, uh, luckily uh, we freedom of capital movements, also thanks to the important instrument managed by uh, historically by MF and in part also by us. So it's. Uh, 
I think that uh, we should overcome uh, this uh, uh, national and nationality issue. And so uh, I think we need, uh, I would say, a, a, a dual approach. So surely, uh, you know, uh, bottom up, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but in part uh, top down. Honestly, we have seen that in dramatic movements, and uh, I use this uh, example and joke, uh, Mathilde knows, uh, I think that we had, uh, you know, <laughs> Bretton, Wood, Bretton Woods conference. So I think we really need uh, a, a, a sort of new Bretton Woods, uh, I would say, for digital finance, uh, DeFi, for uh, crypto assets, for uh, CBDC. But we surely need that all the actors, and by the way, we have also different uh, international fora dealing with this. Uh, but they have, uh, I would say, a different kind of, uh, of composition. In some cases, maybe, um, obviously, maybe central bankers and people interested in only let's say, in the macro stability side, but there are the micro stability, there are the investor protection. We need really a broad, at least, uh, 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 place where we have to put together all the relevant, let's say, policy makers, regulators, supervisors, as broad as possible, okay, in order then to find also top down some at least some principles that then can 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 go down. I think this is essential in order to avoid also, uh, let's say, um, uh, tensions that I think uh, otherwise we may have much broader than uh, than what we have experienced in the last I would say 20 years a couple of times. Now this is big news because this is exactly what the BRICS are building. So as you heard, the world leaders acknowledge they need to revamp and get a new Bretton Woods structure. And as I mentioned previously, that's what the BRICS are doing right now. The BRICS will use Ripple and XRP, the most common and in my opinion, worst statement many people have used in the crypto space. And I've seen some of these in my comment section as well. If the BRICS won't use Ripple's tech and XRP because they are an American company. But what you must fail to realize or consider even is that Ripple technically isn't an American company anymore. Yes, it was founded and based in America, but 95%, almost all of their company, all of their business is outside the US, it's overseas right now. Ripple is now a global company thanks to the SEC versus Ripple case. And in my opinion, this was probably on purpose as a way to help bridge the gap between the Western world and the BRICS alliance. But that is not even the most important part you need to pay attention to because look at Project Enbridge from the BIS that tells the real story. The Federal Reserve, the World Bank, the IMF, countless central banks and most BRICS countries are all mentioned inside the white paper including China. And who do the BIS and IMF mention multiple times? XRP and XLM Stellar. The technology that Ripple and Stellar provides and the power of XRP and XLM is what makes the BIS and the IMF vision come to life. Without it, none of this would even be happening. That's why you cannot let the FUD and shakeouts get the better of you. This is much bigger than most people realize. The BRICS nation, the Enbridge, the world are ready and preparing to use Ripple and XRP as well as XLM and Stellar. And with this massive partnership, this massive connection, Ripple will be that bridge between the BRICS and the Western world and a bridge currency for CBDCs worldwide. And the growing developments in the crypto space and in particular the BRICS alliance are likely playing a factor into the continuous XRP price glitches like this one here. So remember, do your own research and don't look short term. Think long term and I'll see you in the next one.